the Mets right now, pre lottery, Joe, are really, really, really close. I mean, how do you see this thing shaking out with the way the schedule looks right now? I mean, I just, I hate to say it this way because I hate to make it seem like I'm rooting against the Mets. But this is for, this is for the Mets good, the, by the yeah, way. These these are largely ir, ir, immaterial is the word I'm looking for. Immaterial wins. The last six games that I promise you, if the Mets were to rally off six in a row to end the season, you ain't going to remember that that happened. You're just going to remember it was a bad season. Where were until, you? Until the 2024 draft when you're tweeting me saying, well, why didn't, why didn't the Mets lose games at the end of last year? It stinks that they're picking 19 instead of top six or top five. So, you know, I want Kodai Senga to throw a gem. Go ahead and throw six innings, strike out 10, maybe give up a run. And then, you know, if one of the relievers who may or may not be here in 2024 wants to give up the lead in the eighth inning, like that doesn't, that doesn't hurt me. Uh, but Connor, like you said, the Mets are where we stand as of recording right now on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, they're a game and a half out of the uh, a top six slot in the lottery. And where they stand right now, they have about a 35% chance of landing a lottery pick, which is a top six pick, uh, which would be protected. And just for background, we've talked about this on the show, but if you haven't listened to those episodes, uh, because the Mets spent north of $40 million over the luxury tax this year, if their selection is not within the top six after the lottery, their first pick will drop 10 slots and accompany that with the loss of bonus pool, which could be, you know, 2 million bucks, which means is the difference between adding another first round type of talent, just talking purely bonus money. Uh, so obviously a huge week for that and you know a lot of people are going to roll their eyes and don't care but uh for the betterment of the organization it would be ideal if they put themselves in the optimal position to have the lottery balls fall their way and who knows like they they could end up with the number one pick like that's uh certainly within the realm of possibility but i would like it if if they could find their way to that sixth spot i know the angels have a couple more games with the rangers and then they have a weekend series with oakland to close the year so Go ahead and beat up Oakland and Mets go ahead and lose a few games. And if you could get into the sixth spot, that'll put their odds north of 40% to land the lottery pick. And that's as close to a 50-50 shot as you could get. And I would like to take our chances with that. I think the point you bring up about the slot money is the one a lot of people are overlooking, right? Yeah. Having a higher pick is awesome in baseball. And, you know, obviously there's blue chip talent at the top of most MLB drafts, but like you said, Joe, there's also the game of the MLB draft, which is the slot money, which gives you more flexibility to kind of maneuver differently through the draft in a draft where you still can't trade picks. But that's the maneuverability. So I'm with you all the way there. 